Hi Gemini, welcome to your weekly love reading and extended on Patreon. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate your love and support. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Time and energy is fluid, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Alright Gemini, let's get your reading started. Hear the boiling sound at the back. <laughs> yeah, that's my... Did you hear that click? Boiling water, sorry about that. Spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love semesters for Gemini. This week, Gemini. Show me more. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Pentacles. All right, Gemini, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this in this reading. Could either be you or the other person you are dealing with. All thinking about stars right here. So it does look like somebody is trying to heal. But this could also be a dream or a vision or a goal that somebody feels that they might have to make a decision in order for them to achieve it. Mm. Two of Pentacles, upright position, indicates a choice between two. A choice is, I, I'm sensing in the past somebody also could have been dealing with other people, could be juggling another person. Somebody could be trying to gain some perspectives um, in regards to what choice that they should be making. By, I don't know why I'm sensing this, but, you know, by, um, it's almost like finally prioritizing um, necessities. You know, what, what are the necessities? You know, forget about the cherry on top of the cake, but the cake itself is important. So I don't know why I'm getting that message, but I hope it resonates. But Five of Pentacles is in reverse. And it's not going to resonate with everybody, all right? Because Gemini, this is a general reading. So Five of Pentacles in reverse does look like somebody wants to come back. And because they could have felt that they were left out in the cold, abandoned, and definitely wanting to heal this connection. But there's some indecisiveness going on as well with the Two of Pentacles here. But the Seven of Cups in reverse does indicate that finally um, any sorts of confusion will not be um, confused anymore. Like if you are confused or if your person is confused, like they finally are uh, making a decision, they're no longer confused. And they definitely, this is, yeah, they definitely want to reconcile with Ace of Wands here reigniting the past, reigniting passion because they still are very attracted to you. I do see a very strong attraction between you and your person. Could be your person, you, you, them, could be both of you. But the star, as you can see, it's a naked person and Ace of Wands is actually a male phallic. So someone is indecisive but also could be juggling other people. Four of Swords right here. Gemini, so this is an indication of somebody perhaps want, um, Taking a time, taking a break, but but just a lot of things going on in their head or in your head right now. Um, strategizing, planning, contemplation. There's a lot of contemplation going on here. Should I reignite this connection or not? Should I heal this connection or not? Should I go back to them or not? I could go vice versa. Moon is in reverse, Gemini, so this indicates secrets that have been revealed or somebody finally understanding or understanding how they feel and wanting to basically have it known, okay, expressing. Because the moon in our right position indicates sometimes repressed emotions, whether it could be any sorts of any sorts of insecurities or fears or uncertainties. But in reverse, it does look like somebody now is feeling much more certain about you or you them than uh, ever than before, okay? Six of Pentacles here, Gemini. This indicates a person um, could again be juggling two person and feeding another person. 
but this could also mean that somebody may want to come back and give you an equal give and take relationship a little bit i don't know why i rarely read the six of pentacles this way it could be could have some codependency as well since somebody could be depending on the other person for some things okay and it could go vice versa as well three of wands is in reverse somebody could have turned their back on somebody here perhaps they do not want to be a part of the third party situation in a love triangle I'm sensing a lot of complications as well within your connection with your person, okay? Nine of Wands is in reverse. It does indicate somebody feeling maybe they should not fight for this anymore. Maybe they're, they're losing the spirit and the strength to actually continue this. Ten of Wands, so much burden. However, Ten of Wands actually to me is quite a good card because besides it looking like it is so painful and it's just too heavy to carry and too exhausting, but it does look like somebody is ready to, you know, um, it could either mean that somebody is ready to walk to the finish line, okay, carrying all this burden, or that it could be an indication from the spirit, advice from the spirit that, you know, if you have been carrying all this burden all this while, looks like you're almost finished, you're almost done with it, okay, so no more burden anymore in the future in the near future i would say that or within this week but don't take any of the time frame to literally because you know it's for different group of you so each and every one of you will have your own divine timing ten of uh, swords in reverse so it does look like someone perhaps is trying to heal there's a lot of healing energy here trying to remove the swords off your back or your person could be trying to remove the swords off your back for you after they've stabbed it with um hangman is right here definitely indication of no matter how uncomfortable the situation is someone is trying to gain a different perspective and trying to sort of sit back do their best to relax as much as possible um in order to finally gain some again new perspective that's going to help them decide so a lot of indecision here right seven of wands indicates also somebody could have been um, feeling a bit defensive and protective because perhaps you know somebody could have uh, crossed their lines, crossed their uh, boundaries here, standing one's ground. So one person does look like I do sense one person is turning their back on this connection, feeling like they can't go on anymore. But there's another person who feels like you know maybe we can fight for this, maybe they can fight for this, you know. It's an unequal give and take as well. That's what I'm, I'm getting previously. But it does look like someone may want to come back and do that and to balance out the scale. All right, Gemini, we're going to find out in the, this, uh, in the extended, okay? What, what I'm suspecting is this could be some of you third party situation because there's a two of pentacles here, three of wands. And some secrets could be love triangle situation. So we're going to find out what's going on with, between your person and the third party or what's the prediction. I do read um, in the extended what's going on between two of them and also what's most likely going to happen between two of them, okay? And also we're going to find out how does your person currently feel about you? What are their true intentions towards you as well as the most likely outcome between you and your person? I'm sensing this has a lot to do with your person what you're in separation separation with as well as the third party and also we're going to get you some advice from the romance angels oracle decks okay description uh, i mean <laughs> the link is in the description box below you can just click on it and it will bring you to my patreon page that's where you're going to find all of the extended reading that i post there of course it's not free it's ten dollars a month you can watch all of the extended, but only weekly extended for the $10, okay? $16 is for the weekly and extra extended, extra, extra extended. So there's extra there. <laughs> That's why it's more expensive. But anyway, Gemini, if we part ways here, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it resonates with you. I hope it helped you in some way, shape, or form. Please hit like, share, and subscribe if you resonated. And um, I guess if I don't see you at the extended, I hope to see you back here. Take care, Gemini. Bye.